Welcome to an on-demand training on creating new fields in Ag Veritas. The first step when you want to run an analysis with Ag Veritas is to load your field boundaries. So I'm going to take just a moment to show you how to do it. To get started, you'll click on the Manage Data tab and click Fields. Once that page loads, then click the New Field button at the top right. Now that we're in the Add New Fields page, you see that you have a few selections to make to assign the new field to its region, location, grower, and farm. So I'm going to load a single field boundary here, and I'll select my region, and my location, and my grower. But the farm this field is from is not yet in the system, so I'm going to click on the plus sign box here, and type in my farm name, and click Save. Now you'll see the farm is there, so now I'll type in my field name, and now that I've selected my field information, I'll select the file containing my field boundary. So I'll click on my file for the boundary. A quick note on the file type, all boundaries should be uploaded as a zip shape file in the WGS84 projection. And so once I select my boundary and click open, you'll see that the soil types are automatically downloaded from the USGS Sergo database. Now I'll just click save, and it'll take me to the fields page where I can view my new field here. So you just saw how to load a single field boundary, but you can also load multiple fields at once using your farm management software's bulk export option. So I'm going to go back to the new fields page, but this time I want to upload all of my growers fields for my location. So I'll select my location name, and then since I'll be loading fields for many of my growers, I'll select multiple here for grower name. A quick note here, in this example I'm loading the fields for all of my growers at my location, but the same process I'm walking through can be used if you want to upload all the fields for one of your growers as well. Now you see the system is asking me to choose my bulk export file. Once I select the file and click open, I need to select the columns that contain my grower, farm, and field information. So I'll go ahead and fill that out now. Then I click the save button and I'll get an email letting me know as soon as these boundaries are loaded. The time it takes to receive the email depends on the amount of data you are loading. If it's a few fields, it'll be almost instant. If it's a lot of fields, it may take a bit longer. Thank you for viewing this brief tutorial on adding new fields with Ag Veritas. As always, we hope you found this on-demand training helpful, and if you have any questions or feedback, please don't hesitate to give us a call.